The first person we know to identify a pure element was Hannig Brand. He was what passed for a chemist in 1660s Germany. Brand was an alchemist. He studied the properties of matter. But unlike chemists today, who are interested purely in understanding the behavior of different materials, or sometimes to make new materials, like polyester or, or spandex, Brand had one goal in mind. The alchemists were on a hunt for the philosopher's stone, a material that would transmute base metals like iron or lead into precious gold. A common technique involved heating acids, like vinegar, with one or more of these base metals. Brand tried hundreds of combinations. Then, in 1669, he focused his attentions on urine. Brand stored a big tub full of urine for some days. Uh, he let some of the water evaporate to make the urine more concentrated. Then he heated it in a retort, which is a glass container used to capture fumes. He boiled the liquid down to a paste, and then heated the paste and captured the gas given off. He hoped when the gas passed through water, it would turn into gold. It didn't. Instead, after some more rounds of heating, he was able to purify out a white, waxy material that glowed in the dark. This was phosphorus. Phosphorus is a Greek word, meaning light-bearing. And this is the most remarkable property of phosphorus.